Hello everyone, my name is Glenn Gordon and uh, in the entertainment rigging industry they call me Gigi. Well in this business that I'm in, um, this is the type of business that you can travel the world and doing this type of work. I've been very fortunate because I'm based here in Atlanta, Georgia, but I've been very fortunate because some of the uh, local uh, uh, label companies here that do this type of work there's, there's several different parts uh, in this type of business that we're in. You have the entertainment rigging portion of it, and you also have the stagehand uh, portion of it. Well, to become a, an, a ground rigger, this is a very serious task. And I was fortunate because of a, a friend of mine named Andy Hounsell gave me an opportunity to show what I can do in this type of business. And of course, he looked at the fact that I was ex-military, and speaking of ex-military, I did 15 and a half years in the military, and I was a drill sergeant. I also was a crane instructor, and I taught uh, rough terrain forklift as well as uh, the 25-ton hydraulic grove crane down at Fort Leonard, Missouri, of course. But uh, Andy Hansel saw the, the motivation that I have and saw how hard that I would work. And of course, my reward was to give me a shot at becoming a, becoming a ground rigger. Well, now, in this business, um, as a ground rigger, they have their own type of uh, organization. These guys are very good at what they do. They're very good at what they do because it takes a whole lot of discipline, it takes a whole lot of focus, and it takes a whole lot of teamwork to do this type of work, to be as a ground rigger. And not just anybody qualifies to be a ground rigger. So, of course, with the help of Andy, uh, he got me into the business and introduced me to some of the other uh, lead riggers there. And they took me under their wing. And of course, with me being willing to listen, and that's the key thing, listen, that's the key thing in this type of business. Because why? It takes a tremendous amount of safety to work in this type of business. Even though you need to learn how to build these points, you need to learn how to do the job itself, but safety is the key factor and working in this business as well as being able to listen very, very well. So uh, I'll, after winning these guys over, they were, they were willing to show me baby steps, of course. They were willing to show me step by step as to uh, how to do this type of task, how to do that type of task, and why it needs to be done that specific way. And uh, I learned a lot. And I, I think what helped me out a lot was my discipline as, as being as an ex-military man. That's why this type of work that I believe in my heart of hearts is perfect for a veteran. A veteran, this would be ideal for a veteran because a, very, a veteran, for the most part, hopefully, if he was a good soldier when he was in the military, um, discipline should be a, 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 a non-starter for him. I mean, discipline is... It's like a second nature for him. He understands how much it, it, it means to be very disciplined and to be a, a team player. Now, what inspired me to make this ground video was the fact that so many people that would see riggers doing ground rigging in some of the venues that we work in around Atlanta here, and uh, they would walk up to him and ask him, uh, you know, what this mean, what that mean. Well, the thing of it is, is that a lot of these guys are they get a lot more. They have a lot more years' experience than I do in the business. But these guys, they they they're busy, and and unfortunately, they don't have the time to stop and show you in detail as to what this means and what that means. And uh, me as a teacher, which is what a drill sergeant uh, was, in my case, me as a teacher, I felt that uh, it needed to be something laid out to show an individual who's really interested in doing this type of work step by step, the basics now. And I do mean the basics because there's so much entailed in being as a ground rigger. There's a lot more than, than a lot of people think it is. Uh, as I said before, safety is a key factor. Listening and discipline is ideal in this type of work. If you don't, you don't stand a chance in becoming a, a ground rigger. So what I've done today is that um, I thought what I would try to do is write down step by step to have an approach like that and hopefully to give you as many pointers as possible to introduce you 
uh, to how to become a ground rigger in the entertainment rigging industry. Uh, and granted, of course, there may be a lot of things that uh, may be overlooked because of the simple fact there's so much to learn in this business. But I will try my very best to hit on as many points as possible that I think is very crucial to you as being uh, 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 a ground rigger, to, to be your, your introduction to, be, uh, to becoming a ground rigger. Once you learn this in this business, uh, this is the type of work that you can earn anywhere between two to four hundred dollars a day. And, and that's not uh, an exaggeration. And why I say that, because in most of these instances, you will be going and putting in a show somewhere, in a venue somewhere. It may take you two or three hours or four hours or whatever that specific job may call for. But sometimes it may take you only just two or three hours to put that in. Okay, it takes you two or three hours to put that in. That's in the early part of the day or early part of the morning. Then you can go elsewhere and you can put in another show somewhere. Each time you do that, at minimum, that is like uh, $25 an hour minimum here in Atlanta, Georgia is uh, four hours. So you're looking at $100 each time you do that. Now when you go back and take those two shows out, at the end of the day, uh, that's another $100. So on, on average, that's at least $400 you made in that one day time span. Sometimes it could be more than that. But as I said before, what I try to do, I try to write down a guideline for myself in hopes to try to cover as much, uh, try to cover as much area as possible to give you an idea as to what you will have to do to become a ground rigger. But first of all, you need to know what it takes all of what you need to deal with being a ground rigger. So, the first thing that we believe in is that you need to learn how to uncore steel. Uncore steel, I know you, you, you may say, uh, what's so special about uncoring steel? As I said, these are things that you'll learn once we start showing you, once we start getting into actually shooting the video for you on how to become a ground rigging individual. Also, coiling steel. Let me show you how to coil steel the proper way. This is the first basket that you'll build as a ground rigger. And what we mean by building baskets, we're going to show you what we mean. We're going to show you exactly what we mean, uh, what a, a basket is. This is the steel that's going to be sent up top to your upriggers because your upriggers are going to be pulling this steel up top once you tie a rope onto it, which can be also pulling a chain that's coming from a, a motor up to the ceiling. Once that chain gets up where it needs to go and the steel that the rigger, the upriggers pulling up, you have to secure that steel once it's up in the air. This is the first line, first line of baskets in the entertainment rigging business. So this is a fire basket. Then you have a fire basket with a leg. Some people call it a stinger, some people call it a leg. For the sake of this video we will try to refer to this as a leg. So you have a fire basket and a leg. We'll show you how to build all of these points once we get into building points in the video. This is to show you, this is a fire basket, 30 foot steel, just like as you just seen in this video, I mean just as you seen in this, on this page, you see a 30 foot piece of steel here, you see a 35 foot piece of steel here. We'll show you the difference between this 30 foot piece of steel and a 35 foot piece of steel in the video. This is your 15 split basket. All of these you will learn in the video. 15 split basket, 15 split basket with a 30 foot leg. You notice at the bottom we say dead hang. Okay? This way it gets a little bit more complicated. You have two fire baskets. You got a fire basket on either side. 
and you got a deck chain. Even make it a little bit more difficult. Then you have two legs. You have a leg on either side. You have an apex. All of these are very important things as a ground rigger that you need to know when you're talking about building points. Again, same thing applies. Only difference you have here, now this is called a stinger. We'll talk more about it as we go. A deck chain. You see where it says plus three, you got plus seven, you got plus 10. Most of them you see like this, most of your deck chain, nine times out of 10, gonna be 10 lengths. We can look at that, when you say 10 lengths, you're looking at that as being what we call a full deck chain. So a full deck chain, nine times out of 10, gonna be 10 lengths. When someone, when your tour rigger, or your uh, local lead rigger, or even your tour rigger's assistant rigger tells you to put in a full deck chain, when we start building these points, you see exactly how this is conducted, how this is done. Now, this is what we go through and we kind of like point out exactly as to what is what. Five baskets, leg, stangle, all this together represents what you call a bright. Now, all of this information here, as I stated before, once you learn how to do this, which is your basic introductory and being a ground rigger, and I cannot stress the point enough, this in no way, shape, or form makes you a professional ground rigger. What this does is give you the introductory of being a good ground rigger. There's so much more to learn uh, about becoming a good ground rigger. Now, in this video, you won't learn how to work with motors. We'll tell you what to expect when working with a motor, but we're not gonna be teaching you in this video on how to work with motors because that's not important right now. The main thing is important from what we just spoke to you about. But if you can just learn this, if you can just learn this, perfect what we're teaching you now, on the job, more experienced riggers will teach you about how to use your laser. They'll teach you more about how to take a motor out of a case, how to put a motor in a case, how to take a chain out of a motor case box, how to put the chain back in the box. They'll teach you all of those types of things. As I said before, as far as we are concerned, we are saying that this is the best approach to becoming a ground rigger. And above all, uh, I'd like to just say in closing, uh, if there are any veterans out there, and you're going to find yourself a lot of times uh, having to reinvent yourself, you might say. You have to become a lot more diversified than, uh, than the norm. When I first got out of the military, being as a crane instructor by trade, operating nine different heavy pieces of equipment, uh, after 15 and a half years in the military, I found myself having to reinvent myself. So I became a, a taxi cab driver, limousine driver, a landscaper, a house painter, uh, you name it, I, I've done it. And I was just so grateful that I met, as I said before, I met uh, Mr. Andy Hassel at a uh, uh, local company here in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, he saw that I was a very motivated person and decided to take a chance on me and giving me the benefit of the doubt to show him what I was capable of doing. And uh, I took advantage of that and I never looked back. And I kept going forward ever since. So I would just like to say to my fellow veterans out there, please, by all means, do not think that just because you get out of the military that there's nothing else left that you can do if you can't do what you used to do. Just reinvent yourself. The disciplines you should already have. The motivation you should already have. Safety, that's a no-brainer. Whether you're military or not, everyone should always want to work safe. Everyone should always want to work safe, always want to be in a safe environment. 
But I'm just saying that as far as uh, uh, being able to qualify for a passport or being able to qualify for uh, 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 being able to travel, uh, go around the world and things of that nature, you've been there already, a lot of you. You've been there already. You've been a lot of different places around the world. Uh, unfortunately, some of them might not always have been uh, uh, pleasant ones, but nonetheless, you have the experience of traveling. You have the experience of being out of the country if it calls for that. And I would just like to say, I really believe that this is something that you really need to strongly consider looking into uh, once you get out of the military, or if you're already out of the military and you're looking for something to do. Uh, I would say, take a chance and go on to uh, our go to our website. We have a website called uh, groundrigging101.com. Go to groundrigging101.com and uh, purchase your copy of this video. And uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, you may be given the benefit of the doubt, just like I was fortunate to be given the benefit of the doubt by Mr. Hansel, which uh, inspired me to not only continue doing this type of work, but I've I, I want to inspire others, so that's why we are making an attempt to put this video together for you today. So once again, uh, but, but nonetheless now, I mean, I'm, I'm speaking to my fellow veterans, but this video is good for everyone, man, woman, doesn't make a difference, civilians, military, doesn't make a difference, anyone can benefit from this video. It doesn't make no difference whether you're in whatever part of the world you're in, this video will be made available for you because it can be online strictly through download. So it'll be online for you where you can purchase it through a download. Uh, it doesn't make a difference on how you rig here in Atlanta, Georgia. That's the same way that they were rigging any other part of the world. Ground rigging is ground rigging. Now, don't get me wrong now, some ground riggers, tour riggers, lead riggers may want you to do it a certain way, but the formula is still the same. The formula is still the same. The basics are still the same. They may have a different way they want you to do it, but the end result is basically going to still be the same. So once again, we appreciate you listening to us. We hope this video will be quite beneficial to someone out there. Uh, this is a tough world we live in right now. Everyone needs to take any type of skills that they have. They need to take any type of, 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 of uh, ability that they have and try to put it to use for themselves. And uh, we hope that you will consider purchasing this video because hopefully this may be one of the things that can help make a big difference in your life. Have a good day.